Okay, hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is, what is, I think it's Tuesday, but it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. It threw me off because we went out yesterday and I'm with Jaden. Jaden and I are out today. So we had to go upload, get things set, and then it was just one of those days of like, like I uploaded, thing, it just wasn't going right. I uploaded a video and then checked the video and I realized there was a whole section of the video that was empty. I'm like, what is happening to me? And then the thumbnail wasn't working. It was just a, it took much longer than I expected today, but that's okay. We're gonna keep moving. So we are out and about. We got a bunch of running to do. I have a whole errand list here on my phone. We've got to go pick up stuff for a homeschool end of year school party food day. So we're gonna be doing that today. So Jane's gonna come with me. Yeah. She's excited. It's gonna be a great day today. <laughs> and then get home and then we'll finish up life. But for now, we gotta go do some running. So we're gonna go to the bank first. At the bank, we're gonna go in and be adults. Yay, adulting! <laughs> Jane's like, can we just do the ATM? I'm like, no, we're gonna go inside and see people. Yeah, so, cause like I like talking to, I like people, but it <laughs> makes me anxious a little bit when yeah. it's like, hey, can I deposit this? Well, when you have a young adult, that's good to take them in and let them see it and just, you know, suffer through the, the embarrassment of trying to do things. No, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna go in and do our banking. Thank you. Jaden. Yay, we did it, Jaden, adulting. Good job. Yay. We did the banking. So now we're gonna go ahead. I gotta go to one more bank for some other business. Okay, Jade and I are done. We have got our other banking done. So now we were gonna go to drop off UPS. I gotta return these right here. But she has a friend that works near a coffee place. And so I said, let's get coffee later. So we're gonna do this after. So it's her responsibility to not let me forget. <laughs> like, don't let me forget. Because I always, I always forget to return this stuff. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go ahead to Sam's Club right now and go get things we need at Sam's. Okay, change of plans, we're going to Walmart first. So, figured I could probably get a lot of stuff here at Walmart and then whatever they don't have, we will get at Sam's Club. Are ready for shopping? Yeah. Yes, okay, let's go in. <laughs> Walmart. Okay, do we have a bigger one than this? Is there a bigger bag than that one? I just see other one. Some guinea pig here. I like they eat a lot of food. Do you see a bigger one? All right, sweet potato and the guinea pigs. Mark that off my list. Okay, let's go look at the toys in the next section. All right, we're looking for a really good football and a really good kickball. Oh, is this a, play is this a playground ball? It's like a, no, it's a, obviously. What is that, Jaden? It's a playground ball. Well, there's a cyclone. I know it's not a Nerf. Oh, that feels weird. Nerf one up there. Oh, right there, Jaden. You're so smart. Nerf football, here we go. Frank's been wanting me to get one of these as well. Do you want this black one or the same? Nerf Pro Grip. I guess they're all the same. This one's black. This one's black too. Black and blue? Oh, wait, they're both the same one. They're exactly the same. I love it. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll just get that one. Yeah, this we'll get this one. Too. We'll get this one. There we go. We're looking for kickball, kickball. Jaden says at the end. Jaden. See one? Wait, real fast, I'm just looking at all the extra stuff here. Uh-huh. should get a dartboard. I should get a dartboard. Cornhole. I should get a dartboard. A dartboard, yes. Just we need more holes in the wall chain from children. No, we don't need that. We could do a badminton set. Okay, where's the balls would be right here? Nothing down there. Yeah, there's usually mm. like there's that one right there. These are all soccer balls. I mean Yeah, no. Can you see one? Oh, she fair. There was funny, a lady had a kickball, so we got one. Hi, Jaden. Okay, that young lady there had it in her hand, so I was like, oh, where'd you find that? So we are gonna go find water balloons and chalk ball and bubbles. Where would that all be? So Walmart have like a fun toy aisle, let's see. For all the stuff. Right here. Mm -mm -mm. What are we gonna find? Play-Doh, remember every Play-Doh set we used to have? So much fun, ooh, look at this, like a tooth one. That's yucky. <laughs> fun food trucks though. Bubbles. Bubbles, okay, we have a whole stick. So we need to get, how much of those? Five, we need to get, okay, we need four of those, Jaden. And then, sorry, I guess I'm walking as she's trying to push. And then, I'm like walking, I'm like, here, Jaden. I think I'll just get this chalk right here, $5, that'll work. It'll be a lot. So we're gonna have, we're doing a homeschool group and we're having, um, I think, do I need one more? No, it's four, that's six, 12, that's 24, that's good. We're doing a homeschool group, um, like end of year picnic type thing. And so we just wanna have some fun activities. Oh, look at these. A hundred, like, yeah, I'm not gonna blow up balloons. So I'm gonna do, what's the difference? 160 
This is 100 water balloons in 60 seconds. So you get 265 here. Do you think they would all work? Is that the best deal, Jane? How many is that? 30? No, it's not $36. Okay, so they're like $10. 20, I guess we spent $25 on water balloons. Remember back in the day, the dollar packages and you tie them all? Like, <laughs> we would always have, part, we have parties and the girls would sit and like, Lauren remembers, we'd sit there and they just sit out in the hot sun and tie all the water balloons together. I don't remember doing that. That's thing. a lot of tying, so we're gonna spend the money and just get this. What about some jump ropes? Maybe we'll get some jump ropes too. Let me get like four, four or five jump ropes. Five jump ropes, there we go. You want five jump ropes? Yeah, get some different one color ones. Our list here of all the things that we need. So we got our football, got our chalk, got our water balloons. All right, scissors, because you know my scissors are disappearing. So I'm gonna go find me some scissors. Okay, all right, let's go buy some more scissors. Right here. I'm buy myself two pairs of scissors. Huh? Might as well buy the cheap ones because they just disappear anyway. So mm -hmm. just use cheap ones. These are the pools we used to get every year for the kids. Right, I'm gonna run down here and just see if they have anything. Actually, not here. Like, look at that. We use these all the time for four dollars. I think I paid ten bucks for mine. I'm gonna get another one of those. Okay, maybe get some socks for Greg. He is out of socks. He likes these ones, the Reebok ones. Let's get two packages. Socks? Isn't that crazy? Thirteen dollars for six pairs of socks. Need socks. That's like $25 for socks. That's crazy. It's good though. Alright, socks complete. I was thinking the price these are a little bit more, but these are definitely thinner, so these are a lot more better quality. Alright, socks done. Let me go to the food section. Okay, I need to come get some paper plates for our I have regular thin ones, but I feel like I need to get thicker ones for the you know, the kids. I feel like they'll drop them. So if I get some nice like this will work so the kids don't drop their Hot dogs everywhere, I think that'll work. I'm gonna get some of these because we use these all the time. So I'm gonna get a big container of the forks and spoons too. So we're done. Let's go find some food snacks. Get some of these. Sorry. I think I get this big box here. The chips. This box of chips. Jaden's here. Fruit snacks. Yay. All right, hot dog decision. What decision hot dogs do you get? So they've got, we've got to get like 50 hot dogs. So, well, like here's Gwaltney again, the number, America's number one. I just don't know. But I need a big box of them. So I'll do 50. We're going to do four of these. Here, Jane. One. These are the nicer buns. They don't fall apart. Two. Three. Alright, four. God, dog buns. Good job. I'm not gonna get water bottles because I have some of those at home. Okay. Okay, ketchup mustard. Right, oh, we needed some ketchup mustard and oh, oh, no, onions for relish. Let's go see if they got some. There it is. Sorry, I see the grill pack. Jaden, this is what we need. Alright, grill pack. Okay, good. All we need is a watermelon. Wow, we're actually eating them quickly. We saw your good shopping, Jaden. Good job. A couple of salads in here. Okay, let's go find us a watermelon. Why is this? Is this oh, this is seed my kids are going to. Oh, I see. I would get one of these, but I feel like I can't do that. Well, for the homeschool kids, they'd be like, there's seeds in here, Miss Amy. My kids would like it. Well, that's good to know Walmart has them. Okay, these were on, I think, on sale. They're only 368 Why don't you get us two of those, Jaden? Want to get this one? You got it, Jaden. Yeah, let's put it right here. We'll do two for 368 that's a deal. Should we buckle the children in? Buckle the children in. There you go. Let's find us another one, Jane. Looks good. There you go, that looks good. Okay, is that it? I think that's like it for the list. Well, look at us. Watermelon. All right, finished. Let's go check out. Enough stuff for Tommy Angela. Homeschool stuff, we're ready to roll. A lot of people online, not very many registers open. We stay in here for a little bit. I can't remember when it's not going too slow, she's been really busy, which is weird for after Memorial Day. So, we got everything we need at one store, so that's good. So, we are gonna finish up here now. Judy, we're shopping. All right, all checked out, ready to go. All right, I did Walmart and we don't have to go to Sam's Club, so that's good. So, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do a quick lunch together. Jane's pick. Yay.
We'll talk about when we get there because we're in a hurry. Fun, we just got this car looking, they're just married. This is Lanier. Congratulations. Jane's gonna take my license plate. Goodness, going out to lunch with you. Look at this big old mural, isn't that pretty? YouTube world doesn't know Jane's gonna start working next week, so I'm not gonna really see her anymore. I mean, I will, but not like all the time. So I was like, huh, I'm like, this is like our last hoorah today together, Jaden. So I thought, let's go out to lunch today. So we are gonna go to her favorite little restaurant. It's a nice building over there. That looks really nice. That's okay, nice. so they just redid that completely. That's really nice. This is like a trash building, but I think they're wow. apartments now. That looks really nice. Do we get a receipt? We got our little receipt right here. All right, we're gonna go out to, let's place, oh, look at the, look at the frog feet. Like they're, There's um, a meadow, let's step to smell the flowers. Don't smell them though, they'll make it, your so eyes go. tracks all through the town. Oh, They've nice. Been, like their beautification. Committee. To follow along with the mural that's there. That's so cute. Well, they have all the way to the train station. Fun. All right, we're gonna go three chopped. We ain't here one time with Greg. This is pretty good. So we're gonna go have a nice little sandwich together. Uh, okay, cool little place. They got all these like successes going from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. This is great. So they give you popcorn to munch on. So I got a sandwich. She got a sandwich. That's little people. It's a very cute place. All right, no filming people. So we're gonna enjoy some fellowship and catch up with Jaden. Bye. Okay, I have to say this. This is really cool. Back in the day when you go to like a family restaurant, they give you a basket of crackers. Mm. We haven't had that in a long time, so that's goody. And some chips. Mm. Old fashioned, Jane. <laughs> Cream broccoli soup. She's like, that's for decoration right there. <laughs> Looks so fun. Delicious. I love this. Delicious. Look at this. I got pumpernickel because that's so good. It was a delicious, delicious lunch. Good choice. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and I think pick up a coffee for the afternoon and then she can go visit her friend. And then we're gonna be heading to the rest of our errands and we'll get to finally go home. It's like 85 degrees, super hot and sunny. I'm sure today's gonna be a pool day for sure. It's gonna be good. All right, UPS done, big giant line. So now we're gonna go drop Jaden off to go get a coffee. So Jaden um, ran in to get a coffee where her friend works. So she can get us a coffee for the day. So I'm gonna go grab that with her and then uh, we're gonna head home. It's been a good day. Really good day getting stuff done. It's hot. It's like, I don't even know, 86 degrees. Definitely gonna be a pool day. I gotta go home and finish up life that I did not do today, and that's okay. We're gonna get there eventually. That's what the coffee's gonna hook me up for. Okay, Jane gets coffee right here. So we're gonna be ready to roll for the afternoon. So I'm gonna get my keys out here. She's got the keys. I have her keys. She has the keys. We're gonna go in and get our pee. I know we have stuff here because I know there's stuff from Amazon. And Jaden's closet thing is here. Your closet thing will be here. Your closet thing will be here. So she can get her closet thing put together and all our other stuff. Got lots of packages. Package. Okay. Love her. Love her post office lady. She's so great. She's like, you just keep ordering stuff from Amazon and have it shipped here. So she goes, you guys are keeping me in business. She's got a new person and she's like, those Marions are making sure that you guys are you're gonna stay here through my retirement. So there's all our stuff right there. We're gonna go home. Oh, the door isn't shut. No. One more stop, Jaden. We're getting there. Yay. It's been a long day today, but we're getting there. We still have a whole day. I figure I still have like another what? Ten hours until bed. Yeah. Ten hours till bed. So like it's almost like a full day to most people, so we're gonna go ahead to my brain. All right, so I just dropped Jane. I gotta, I'm in a parking lot, so push car in reverse. In a parking lot, so I'm good. Greg shop here. So I just dropped Jane off in the library, so she can run in and get um, return my library videos and books, and she's gonna go pick up some more. So I just ran over to see Greg. Say hey, what's up? He said he didn't want a coffee, so I didn't bring my coffee. And then I grabbed Jane and we're gonna go home. So you've already seen everything we bought, so the grocery haul, I won't show you anything. That's gonna be for our homeschool day. We're gonna have that. I'll show you that video this week. And then um, just gotta go catch up with life because we were gone yesterday at the lake. There's not a whole lot to pick up. So kind of go and see what the kids are doing and where they're at and all that good stuff. We gotta go in the pool because it's like really hot outside and the pool was really warm this morning. So I'm sure it would be too hard to, to force people to go in the pool today. So it's good. All right, I'm gonna park here and wait for Jane. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna pick Jane up. She got some library books. We're gonna go in. <sighs> Let's go see how the household is there without us. I'm sure they're fine. They're probably like, oh, mom's home. Oh, we have to do work now. <laughs> All right, home now. House is still standing. Kids are doing their thing. I thought, let's open up my Amazon package and see what I got. These are all uh, things I've ordered in the last week, so I thought, good to film it. Okay, so the other day we watched Toy Story on TV and they're like, put in Toy Story 2. We were trying to stream it and our streaming doesn't work because our internet doesn't work. So then I said, well, don't we have Toy Story? And they're like, no, we have one, three, and four. So I'm like, we don't have two. Oh, let me get two. And then when I was doing that, I was like, I forgot Up was a good movie. I'm like, let's get up. So I got this too. I told Lauren, she's like the movie. She watched, when she was here living at home, they watched a lot of movies together. And um, 
she just had every movie and like great ones and like I'd get them and just like she'd have them. So I'm like, I need to like go through her movie case because I didn't watch movies back then because, you know, I had kids. And so I'm like, now we're into movie watching so I need to see uh, what are some good ones. All right, oh, and this is lunch bag. Look at that. Remember I, okay, way better, look at that. Nice, okay, much better not lunch bag. Yeah, way bigger than those tiny ones I just pulled out. Perfect. All right, these are good. So this is a good one. I got two of these. Perfect. I got more of these. Perfect. These are the lunch bags. That's good. <laughs> this is from Miss Barbara. You know Miss Barbara sent me? Look what she sent me. A new bunk pan. Now my other one is not that old. It's a bunk. Yeah, and it's the original. Nordic Red. That's the one I have. And it still sticks. So thank you, Miss Barbara. You know I'm making a bunk cake in that one. She sent some stuff here. She said, be a fun thing for, let's see, the kids. Oh, goodness, look at it. And then she sent me, nice, an angel food cake can. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's really nice. Look at the Nordic wear. That's really nice, the Nordic wear. So I have an angel food one and a bunt one. Very cool. Thank you so much, Miss Barbara. Just send another lunch bag. I ordered a blue one. I think I just got three. Is that all I need? I think that's all I needed. Perfect. Good. This is Madeline's uh, backpack. I ordered her a backpack. Oh, look at that. It has a nice little place for her lunch bag. That's nice. Let me put that open here. They just, she needed one. Hers was all broken. So look at that. She's got a nice little lunch bag there. Oh, it's nice and sturdy. And a nice backpack. Nice. That one's all that I got. I think I got hers last week. She got a Carhartt one. And this one. Is the one Autumn picked out. Same one. Very nice. Nice. Backpack and lunch. That one's for Autumn. And then, oh, just a minute. Land's End. That's where we got our bathing suits at this year. They have really good um, different swimwear. They're, they can be a little costly, but they're going to last a whole lot longer than a regular one because they are better materials. So we got our bathing suits early from Land's End. Miss Barbara sent me more stuff. What did she send me? Summer fun. What are these? Are they? Oh, they're sand-free beach towels. What? One of you were saying we use the sheets. You're like, you need a sand-free towel. I'm like, what's a sand-free towel? Oh my goodness, there's like one for everybody. One, two. Look at those. No sand gets on them. Oh wow. They're like a nice, they're like a microfiber. Well, how nice is that? She's from Texas. So I think it's like a cactus. Yeah, that's like, or no, it's not a cactus. Or is it a cactus? No, it looks like a turtle. A turtle? And a pineapple. Do you have pineapples in Texas? Pineapple? Here's the cactus. This one I saw was cactus. <laughs> that's a green. That's fun. So that's it. And then these are quick and dry and lightweight. Micro oh, there are more microfiber towels. Oh, wow. She got eight. Is that right? It's an avocado. Is this? Let's see. So it's like a microfiber towel. That's interesting. Feels like my dishcloth. Oh wow, so that'd be for the beach so it wouldn't get any sand on it. Very cool. So everybody can have their own towels that don't get sand on them. How neat is that? There's one melon, pineapple, and a little lemon there. Super, super sweet. So thank you so much, Miss Barba. Okay, girls came up and I talked to them for a minute. So do you remember a few months ago when I had you guys talk to you guys about the my homeschool curriculum that I gave away for free and how I was nominated for practical homeschoolings? They do like a whole um like viewer first choice awards and so how I started doing my um, curriculum is I advertised through this magazine through Mary Pride like years a long long time ago tiny little tiny little thing a long time ago and um, and just over the years I've done I've done a couple things with her and that and so then over time as people saw that I had my curriculum it was free those things that got picked up as one of to put in there um, their Reader's Choice Awards. So for the last few years, um, it's been a little while, three, four years, I placed like in the top three in their um, 
program. And so this year I was tied for first place. So Sit for Home Economic Skills by Amy Marion, tied for first place in domestic science, real life skills category in the 2022 Practical Homeschooling Reader Award. So thank you guys for voting. It doesn't do anything. I don't get a, I, I get this little piece of paper right here, but for me, it helps get people to go to my website and website is completely free. You watch YouTube and you see ads and you're like, oh, the ads, that generates an income for me through these videos. My blog is how I started and I didn't do any ads. There's no ads, there's no pop-ups, there's no nothing on there. Everything is free or available for free over there. And then what I did is I started doing um, books and school curriculum and I give it all the way for free on there as well. So you don't have to pay for it, it's free. If you want to purchase a book, to support my, um, it was support my blogging back in the day. You could, but you don't have to. You can just go there and just get it for free. Totally fine with that. Always good with that. So that is what I enjoy is because it's sending people there to be able to go, oh, I can homeschool my kids and do, you know, like this is home ec. That's one series I have. I have one for guys and I have all curriculum up through eighth, ninth grade, a basic skills curriculum. So your kids will be able to cover the basic skills that they need to know for schooling. So just, that's why I like to share and I like to be able to do that because it gets the word out that, hey, you can do it for free. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars in your school curriculum. It can be done free and then just pick up things here and there. So thank you so much for voting. For those of you that voted, if you didn't, that's okay. Go check out Practical Homeschooling. Get a little magazine, get it at your local library too. And then uh, awesome on the first place winner. So more people can be informed about it. So, okay, now we're gonna get moving. Late in the afternoon, we're gonna finally get our day going. I probably won't show you a whole lot of this because it's just the day today. We're gonna do some cleanup and make some dinner tonight. It's gonna be an easy day. So I'm gonna go back and flip some laundry from yesterday, the towels, and then we're gonna keep going. So I'll come back in a minute and see ya. Okay, dark up there, I don't have my lights on, but that's okay. So it's been a busy afternoon. We um, got home and then like put everything away, organized it a little bit, and then the kids and I read some more of our book. We're reading that book, the one, I'm gonna show you the book I've been reading. So we read that, sat down and talked for a little bit, did all of our chores, and so now I'm like, I gotta get dinner rolling so we can eat something today. You know, that's important. So I'm doing the old standby. So I found in my freezer, I've got some garlic, Texas toast here. So I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. We have like two rolls. That's gonna go in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna do a good old standby. I got meat over there cooking, and then I'm gonna go up here, and I'm pretty sure I have a tomato sauce left like a man, just for tonight, right here. And then we can have this with the ground beef, and I'm gonna look at my pantry, which I know I have a ton of pasta, and make some pasta, and we're gonna have an easy dinner. Easy, just because uh, it's just a busy day. And I'm like, you know what? That's good to do that today. So I'm just gonna, I just gotta heat it up. So I just got on like a low to medium to kind of thought. Water boiling, we'll add it. Easy go-to dinner. We have this salad, I'm gonna make this too. Okay, so doing good with food. These pans work awesome. They like cook so well. Getting the meat in that cooked, I'm like, my goodness, they heat up really nice. I am loving them. So my one is almost done here. It's got like one little piece of frozen. This has got the vegetables in it already. And this is the easy dish, supporting. I might end up adding the rest of that uh, sauce just depending on how much I have to do for noodles. So easy, easy dinner. That's what I do when days are a little crazy. That's dinner. It's gonna be an easy night. Let's go check outside. Let me show you the pool. Okay, it is a gorgeous day. It is super muggy and super hot today. So we are gonna go out in the pool. Pool is looking a thousand times better. A thousand, you know what we did different? Let me share with you what we did different. 
we had a, a sand filter. That's what we purchased and upgraded to this year. Well, what happened was we had so much yuck in our pool, I think, from not covering it, you know, but that's okay, hold on. We had so much yuck in it from not covering it that it seemed like the pump when we were doing the um, waste on it, like the backwash, it was like blop, blop, like taking a long time to come out. I'm like, is it because we made this big giant solar thing and there's no suction? What is going on? Well, then Greg was like, well, maybe we just need to change the sand. I don't know if you have to change your sand. Do you ever change your sand in your pool filter? Maybe if you have a clean pool and you have to pull a bunch of algae, no big deal. But what I noticed is the backwash didn't backwash like it used to when we first started. So we bought more sand and changed it out. So the sand is all on the ground now. We dumped it out, but it's all, it's so weird. It's so gone. The algae's like, he dumped it out. And on the bottom, it looked like little rocks, which you can't even see because they're not here. But when he was doing that, it's all up here. That's so weird. Literally today, there was these things on there, and it was just little pieces of algae. You look like rocks, and you swish them, and they're all, like, gross. So we put new sand in here. Look at the pool. Hello. Yay. Looks amazing. Yeah, like, looks, it's blue. It's amazing. It's warm. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to go swimming. We're going to do a night swim tonight. So the pool is awesome. When we, we took and we just ran the, and we're gonna run the filter longer. It made sense, someone told me about these things back here, the solar heaters, if we don't run the filter long. Sitting with hot water, yeah, that can grow algae. That makes a whole lot of sense, so thank you for that. So what we're gonna do is run the filter during the day for like eight to 10 hours, because it's a small filter or uh, pump for this pool. Like it doesn't shoot out like crazy because we have a, you know, we got all this extra back here. So we figure eight to 10 hours, just run on it and let it go, even if it does kill the pump, which it shouldn't. Like Greg said, it's like 50 bucks for a new pump. So all the whole thing was a couple hundred, but just the pump itself wouldn't be too much. So well worth it. I feel like our, I, we're, I'll keep you updated. I just feel like we went through like such a spurt there of like an awful looking pool. And now it's like gorgeous. So we're going to just keep the backwash now. When you backwash, it's green, yucky, and then it turns to clear. And then it rinses yucky and turns to clear like it did when we first started doing it. So I think that sand was just so clogged full of gunk, it didn't have a chance to clean. So the pool is looking gorgeous, warm. It's warm, it's nice, it's really nice. This solar thing, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna, we didn't make it out during the day today swim because life was a little crazy. So we're, and we're a little sunburned from the lake yesterday. So I, I told the kids, like, why don't we do a night swim tonight? So what we're gonna do is eat dinner. And then we're all gonna come out to the pool and swim. Swim for a little bit and then um, stir that water up, clean it out, you know, run the filter a little bit, maybe run the vacuum. We'll see, we ran it all day, so I guess we'll see. And then um, tonight we're gonna watch one of our movies, probably Toy Story 2 or Up movie and do that. And that's how we're gonna end our night tonight. That's a good way to end it. So good day after a long day. Some days when days are long and you just, just it's good to end it with swimming and a movie. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember you are designed, you are created, and you are selected by God to do great, wonderful things in this earth. And once you walk in those paths that he has for me and you experience some of the things that he does, that he wants you to do you'll get that like all right like kind of like a satisfaction knowing like you're doing what you're supposed to do and it's a good place to be so you don't have to wander you don't have to be tossed to and fro you don't have to go am I supposed to do this am I not supposed to do this you just stay focused on that path that he has for you here's Ruby she's like I'm here so it's a good place to be so have a beautiful day I see you tomorrow another video we got some homeschool stuff coming up and we got some gather your fragment Friday this week so next week's gonna be shopping it's gonna be good so we'll see you guys tomorrow all right bye